Monday morning. Louise Downer trying to find her ball. Blind dog, you have to keep encouraging us. But anyway, we are going to do a coffee and a chat because I need some, um, I need your opinion. Mm -hmm. I need your opinion. So I'm just going to make a coffee. Kettle's on, so you can't usually hear me very well when the kettle's on. But I'm um, just got the frother going. I'm going to heat up some, some milk because there's a little girl sat in the high chair who wants a baby Sino. Today is Monday. Uh, Monday the 12th. Whoa, you're getting steamed up there. Monday the 12th. Get on, get that on. Got Missy's cup here. She's going to have a baby Sino. And um, I'll get a clean cup because I've used my cup a couple of times this morning already. I think. Seeing as it's Valentine's Day on Wednesday, are you doing anything special? We're not doing anything. We'll be staying at home eating. <laughs> We're not going out eating. We're just, it'll be just a normal day here, I should think. Right, that's nicely throbbing. Yes, mummy's making you coffee. She's having a baby Sino. Aunties and uncles. That's a Molly. Oh, oh, my hands this morning. That's Molly for you. Well, it's a baby Sino. I'm just going to have some sweeteners. And the milk is flopping away there. There we go. Make my coffee. Yeah, no, I'll show you. There's a coffee being made. My, uh, I've already had a coffee out of the machine this morning. I try not to have too many coffees in a day. My daughter bought me, my eldest daughter picked this up for me because it was on a special deal in Tesco's. And coffee, it's almost like you've got to take out a bank loan to buy a tub of coffee over here in England, currently. Oh, I, of course I heated the milk up, didn't I? <laughs> heated the milk up. Look at that, nice and frothy on the top. It is nice and frothy. There you go, you got some nice froth in there, lovey. <laughs> and it doesn't make it too hot, although I will give it weight a bit and give it to her. Why don't these white lids ever, 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 ever go on how they're meant to? <laughs> like, look at that, it's meant to be like quite round properly. So you could drink out of it. I don't know how to do it like that. Every time I do it, it goes like at the side. Oh, no mind, eh? I'm going to have a bit of frothy down soon as there's some frothy left. Yep, mummy's having frothy coffee too. We got frothy coffee together, Molly. Yay! Let's take Molly over for a frothy coffee. Stir mummy's. Because mummy's got, um, okay. It. Millie's looking for her ball. Yes, darling, I'll get it. Happy, happy Monday. I'm coming with your baby Sino. I'm coming with your baby Sino. Yeah. Whoa, aren't you a lucky girl? You're having a baby Sino in the pretty cat cup. Are you lucky? You are lucky. No, I know. That's empty. We'll put some passion... No, not passion fruit. What's mummy got? Some Sharon fruit in there in a minute, okay, for you? Let me move that one out of the way. Let me get these out. Oh, dear. Hey, are you going to have your baby Sino then? Yeah, you're going to do that up? Because you're a big girl, aren't you? Say, so, I'm enjoying looking at all mummy's little bits and pieces that she can't, I can't bear to put this Christmas tree away. I mean, it's so old. It's like, um, hang on, are you still looking at it? Yeah. It is 1960s, I believe, if my information is correct. And then we've got a little, a little uh, chocolate house next to it. It comes from my vintage, from my um, Limax Christmas thing, <laughs> Christmas village that I haven't set up. But I love chocolate, so <laughs> chocolate it goes there. And we've got the angels. 
uh, singing away. Can you remember this one? She's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> and then look at this one. This is the doll boutique. And it lights up. It's not very good because it's not very good showing it to you here. It's got a battery pack. It's part of the Limax collection as well. But this um this one we can't get in Europe. This one came from America. Look, custom dolls, outfits, accessories, repairs. Look, there's dolls in there, look. They're getting their hair cut in the hair salon. Come have some tea upstairs with your doll. Look, doll cafe. Oh my gosh. That's so stinking cute. I'll try and show it to you another time. It's just, it's so bright outside, look at that. Lovely bright February day. And then here's our little Valentine's display in here that I made. Gosh, did I make this last year or the year before? There we go. Ooh, happy Valentine's Day. He is waiting with his present with his bow. All right, let's get back to the coffee. There we go. You might hear, if you can hear bubbling in that going, I've got some brown rice on the stove so I can do it cold for Russ for his uh, for his lunchbox. I'm going to change little man James here while I talk to you as well. You might hear Millie every now and again whine and that's because she's blind and she's mostly deaf and she's got dementia and so she, she just needs to know where I am. Um, she's been playing with these two little tennis balls today, this morning. So, um, she'll probably want to get up in a second. But I can change James and bring you down a little bit so you can see James as well. Yeah, I've got my hat. I've got my hat and scarf on, even though I'm sat indoors. You want to come up now? Hang on a minute, James. Where are James Clark? He's in there. Oh. Okay, I think she's still okay. Let's sit settle down there then. Sit down there then you with James. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we had um I didn't post over the weekend. I think the last video I did was of um is it Sarah Joy? James and Sarah Joy. I think it might be without looking back. I think it might be. Um that was Friday. And uh, sorry, I didn't mean to point at you. Wow, yes, 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 the old school teacher and me coming out. <laughs> Um, Friday, yeah, and then we were out, me and Russ went out all day Saturday, together, together, and it was Millie's 14th birthday on Friday, on the 9th, which I think is Friday, and uh, so she had a nice day as well, she went to the north coast of England, north coast of Devon in England, and um, she had a nice walk around. And if you're interested, I'll try and remember to add some photos <coughs> Excuse me. on the back, on the end of this video. I know not everybody's interested in that. Um, what else? Yeah, and we went to two different areas in the north. We went to Barnstable and Ilfracoon. Both very nice places. Uh, we haven't been there for such a long time. In fact, since we've been in the bungalow, which is three years, coming up three years, the end of February, we have not hardly had as many adventures out as we did before. And um, we were talking about that this weekend because it was quite often every other Sunday me and Russ would go out. And um, when we lived in our old house, 
because if you're a regular subscriber and you've watched me for years, you'll know that Russ used to visit his son in York every other weekend. And so it meant that two Sundays a month we would spend some time together. Excuse me a minute. Because Russ would drive up there on a Friday and stay up there for the weekend. Because it's a long place, it's a, you know, a long drive. And um, so he did that. And then, do I have a little now? And, um, and then we moved here and we still needed lots of, you know, when we moved here, there was still lots of stuff that needed finishing off. And um, like it was habitable, wasn't it? You've all seen the videos. I mean, we've got a huge playlist of them, which I'll try and remember to add as well. <laughs> so for those of you who haven't seen that, our playlist that I did of when we got the bungalow and that. Um, and then, because it was a fixer upper and the, basically the inside is completely different than it was. So, um, and the garage is an added extra. Um, just put more on the baby grow today. Just a plain terry toweling old baby grow. And I don't know what the date is, it says from Boots. So, I did ask in my um video, yeah, it was Sarah, wasn't it? I did the vintage clothes haul that I got six pounds. I did ask if anybody recognizes those labels, but nobody's got back to me yet. So I wonder, maybe I'll have to post it on a different Facebook page or something. Yeah, so, and then Sunday we had Jack over. <laughs> Jack, I put Timothy next to Jack. I will show a picture of that. I put Timothy next to Jack. And um, Jack is our grandson, our first grandson. And it's a journey to get him, and I'm so proud of my daughter, her wife, and and yeah, I'm so proud of them all. I'm so impressed by everything they've done um, to get to this point. Anyway, we had him on Sunday, yesterday, for a few hours, and um, he was playing in. Um, God, I've had it for years, haven't I? The uh, the baby walker that's in the shape of an airplane. I had it for Harry. I think that's when I bought it for Harry. And it was when Mother Cares was still open. So that was a long time ago. And where did I buy it from? I'm sure I didn't get it on Twitter. I'm sure I got it for something. I think I was with um, an old friend called Amy at the time. And I might have got it at Cribs. Because we used to meet in Bristol. It was almost halfway for both of us. Um, I think that's where I might have got it. Anyway, anyway, I tried to put Jack in it at Christmas and he is like, he was tiny, but he enjoyed it. He's such a full on, full on baby. And um, and then, so then I tried him again in it yesterday. Like, oh my God, he was moving in it. He's six months old, just, and he is moving in it. I mean, that is just beyond crazy to me. Um, anyway, and so, and I was changing Timothy, when they arrived, I was changing Timothy, so of course then I played with Jack and stuff like that, and uh, while Jack was settled then in the, in the, the walker, I just changed Timothy, and Jack was like mesmerised by him, he just kept staring at him, so I put Timothy beside him, so I'll show you that video next, so that's okay. Timothy's like, hey, hey, I want to go in there. Hey, you want to come stay there? Come stay there. Hey, what about you, James? What about you? You're so tiny. Well, you get me. I'm so tiny. You're so precious, aren't you? Yeah. So I've had a bop bop, had a change. And now I'm thinking I'm going to put him down for a nap. I'm going to put him in this sleeping bag here, this vintage sleeping bag. It is cozy there. <coughs> oh, having one stroke this morning. It was a bit tickly, so 
it must be something pollen or something coming out. I'm going to put him in this, and then I'm going to put him in my new push chair and finally do the video showing you the new push chair in more detail. Because I've shown parts of it, haven't I, as I've taken it out. I think I've shown parts of it twice while I've been out. There they go. I'm going to put you in this, aren't I? So you'll be nice and warm. Please look after this bear. Please look after this baby. Yeah. He's such a cute old head. I mean, I love the painting that Amy did on him. Just amazing. Amazing sculpt for realism. There is a sculpt that I've always, always wanted ever since I went to Canada and I seen a friend in Canada as a newborn. Um, is the Sansa by King Lao, and she was so hard to get, but she's just released, King Lao's just released another load of editions, or whoever she sold it to, I don't know, has just released another set of editions, so I'm really, really hoping that I can pick up one of those, because I haven't quite got here yet, for the stockist, but I'm really, really, really going to put on it. <laughs> Where's the little head? Okay. Where are the little teeth exactly? Where's my little teeth? I'm little sometimes, like this one, come down to there. Where are the little teeth at? Hoping you would have had a big, big blanket wrapped around you and a hat on back in the olden days. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see you there for a second. Now I'm going to drink my coffee and please don't worry because he's not real. Okay, don't, don't, don't stress out. Mm -hmm. If I spill any on him, I'll just wipe it off. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, that was yes. Yeah, so we had Jack over for a few hours. That was Saturday and Sunday because uh, that's it. I was absolutely shattered on Saturday. I fell asleep on the sofa, and then I went into the bedroom and just sat on the bed for a minute while I was because I felt a bit dizzy when I got up from the sofa here. And I went into the bedroom and felt a bit dizzy, sat on the bed. And Russ says, the next thing he knows, he come in. He said, did you mean to go to bed? He said, because you had your hat on, you had your jumper on, your cardigan on still. You were so wrapped up. I was really cold. But that's because I was really tired. It was cold out, but it was a lovely winter day. But, um, he was like, you didn't mean to go to bed, did you? He said, because when I came to bed, all you said was, Russ, will you put the covers on me? <laughs> Russ, will you put the covers on me? And I slept in my cardigan and my hat on all night. Don't worry, it's been washed in the sun. I sat in my sat in that all night. <laughs> How funny is that? And uh, yeah, so I really wanted to do this video over the weekend, but I didn't get a chance to do it. So um, I want to ask your advice on something. Do you want your belly button now? Or do you want to have your life? Oh, you want? I didn't get that to see. I'm not sure you can see that far. Oh yeah. Um, right, so I do want to talk to you. <clears throat> now, I did this here giveaway for Christmas Day. And we pulled the winner for this Christmas giveaway, but she has never contacted me. I have seen her once comment on somebody else's video, and I didn't comment because I don't like to comment something random on somebody else's video. I'm not like, hey, you won, won my, you're my giveaway. Because if you're a regular viewer, you would be watching for that to see if you were a winner. And I did put it in a lot of places. And I'm starting to lose my damn speech. <laughs> Talk to yourself, Caroline. <laughs> um, if you're a regular viewer, you would, you know, know that you had won this amazing Christmas giveaway that I did, which was this changing, beautiful changing bag mat. Um, a baby Mayo, Bampino Mayo nappy cover with the insert in here. So there was one insert. These were brand new. I gave the other two to Sam. And a brand new baby grow. It ha is gender neutral with pandas on. So you also have that. And then what I always give in my giveaways um, is, because it's a coffee and a chat, was a coffee, a sachet of coffee or a sachet of tea, because some people don't like coffee, but they like tea. 
Um, I also included a Christmas poster and some Christmas chocolates. I mean, you can eat them anytime, can't you? And the gnome is just like, it's a gnome, a poster with a gnome on. And a mug cosy. But you didn't get back to me. And it is now February, what did I say today? It's 12th, did I say the 12th? It's a Monday. February the 12th. You didn't get back to me. I left all my information. Now, so I don't know what to do. Previously, if somebody hasn't contacted me, I've just carried on and waited and waited and waited. Actually, I don't want to wait because to me, it seems obvious that, that the person that won it, oh, I do have the, I do have, what did I say? Oh, here it is. I did do have, still have the whole list of all the people who entered and we put it in the spinner, didn't we? I do it in front of everybody so everybody knows. Um, and I also just want to say that, Martha, you are on here. You're number one, Granny's Reborn World. You didn't think you were on here, but you are. You're number one. Um, and the winner was number 50. Now, I don't know. What, what would your advice be? Because I feel, personally, I feel that I want to redraw this. That is how I feel. Because I feel that there are lots of people on this list who are regular commenters, regular people who message me, um, regular viewers. You might not comment on every video, but I do see you comment, you know, every now and again. So I know you're a regular viewer. Um, people, I understand that people like watch things, then they get bored and then they move on to something else and then they come back to what they know. I understand all of that. And you know, so that's, again, another reason kind of why I've left it because I'm, you know, I was thinking she might come back and see because I literally, I think I put it, um, are you the winner or something like that? And then I always put it on Instagram, which goes straight onto our Facebook page, Caroline Reborn Night, goes straight onto our Facebook page as well. So I just feel like this person, um, and because I've seen this person comment elsewhere, I know this person is out there. So it's not like they've suddenly got ill, but I mean, they could have forgotten, they could have short term memory loss, they could have something. But I feel like I've given it enough time for them to come back and check to see if they've won. Um, and so basically I'm seeking advice because I don't want to just hold on to this. I thought this is like our reborn family's Christmas gift to you. So let me know your thoughts down below on that. Yeah, thank you. I am looking for advice. I mean, I've been in this community 10 years. I've only ever got into one argument um, right at the very start and I cut it dead and that was it. And it wasn't even an argument. It was just like just a few comments and I just cut it dead and I just don't deal with those people. I never message, never talked to them since and don't watch their videos and because I'm not into the drama of the whole thing. So just let me know what you think down below because I hate bad feeling as well. Um, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so now we've got that little bit out of the way. I want to show you my absolute, and I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna agree, deal I got this weekend. So there are a few charity shops in Barnstable. I grumpy with me, so I didn't go in every one uh, much as I would rather. So nice when you go somewhere different, isn't it? And you want to check the charity shops. Now again. If you are a new subscriber here, you will know that I had a mega problem for a very long time about secondhand stuff for my babies, about going in charity shops. But don't get me wrong, when my children were small, um, everything, I went in charity shops, but and, and I used charity shops for myself for them. I went to car boot sales, I did all of that. Then I had a nervous breakdown. And when I had the nervous breakdown, it was like I became obsessed with not having those things um not staying in um beds elsewhere not um you know not, not like going away and staying in places elsewhere um not have wanting anything <coughs> second hand on my babies unless i was really desperate i mean this is why i've spent so much money on new things um because i had a real real big problem and i'm you know i'm proud to say i'm now you know, through all of that, um, back to, so I'm 55 now, guys, my nervous breakdown was not long after my 40th birthday, 
I think I was 41 when I had my nervous breakdown. Um, and so now I'm 55 and it's been probably been in the last like five years, but the last three I've been much more relaxed and, um, and a lot to do with that is me being here, bungalow, open, nobody can just walk in my back garden like they could at the nook, they could just open the gate and walk in because we were so open there, now we're so closed in, <laughs> thank goodness, um, I don't like surprises, I don't like that, I like to know where I am and what I'm doing, so I'm, I've always been like that and I still like that, um, I don't like people just like turning up, even though I grew up in the era of people just turning up at people's homes, so I used to do that, my family used to do that, just walk in, come in, walk on in, um, my girl, my girl's grand, grandparents and, and even uncles on my ex-husband's side, you know, they used to all just walk in. That's fine because I knew you, but I don't like some random person just walking in my gate. <laughs> now I'm iffy about them can walk into the front door. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. So, yeah, you'll see, like, I really like, now I'm enjoying it again. Back, like, you know, I enjoyed it when my girls were small, like, I would take them in because, you know, they would have their pocket money and they'd be able to spend it in the charity club and get themselves something. Sorry, I've just had a bit of a dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy session there. That's because I was talking about past. <laughs> That's because I was talking about my past. And now I don't, oh, I was talking about charity shops. So yeah. come back with you <laughs> I was going to turn the camera off and like bring myself back together and then I thought no actually this is a real me and, and this is how it affects me sometimes how particularly talking about passing when I'm not prepared to talk about past things you know when I haven't thought oh yeah I just you know I just forgot anyway anyway my crooked my crooked hat, is that the dream? Or is that just wear and tear? <laughs> it's probably just wear and tear. Look, I had to shave my head because it's been so dry. I've had dry all around my eyes. I'm really bad. Um, that's from the thyroid. It's from the no thyroid. Anyway, there we go. My back is back. Is it still, have I still put it on the crooked bit? No, I don't think so. Anyway, so yeah, so I went into a charity shop and I got a melee, is it called melee? Mouse. Now, I do have these down in Hillside and I made him a whole, I've got two. I made one a whole um, baby room. Have I got two or just one? Yeah, no, I got two. I got one Christmas one. I made a whole Christmas room for him. Down in Hillside they are. A bit like the Valentine's one I showed you, the same sort of shape. Made a Christmas room one. And I made um, a baby room one for the baby Maleg I got. And I saw this in a charity shop. Now, anybody who buys these know that they're about £16 new. £16.99, these small ones, something like that. That's how much I paid. £2.50. And they are so cute. Look at the little mouse with a little blanket. His little blankie. There she is with her little skirt on. So stinking cute. How could anybody give that to charity? Mind you, I'm sure when my girls saw out Hillside when I popped the clogs. They will just give it all to charity. So cute. 
and a little pillow and a little mattress. I mean, isn't that a score? I don't know anybody else except Auntie Sarah, who likes my leg mice. Auntie Sarah likes them too. So Auntie Sarah, down in the Southwest, what do you think of my little score and my little May leg mouth? Look at her. Grow up. You actually don't need the blanket. It's not too bad. It's just this old lady here feels cold. Especially when she's had to shave her head. Grow up. I mean, the, even the box, the box is like perfect. It doesn't smell. It's perfect condition. Look at her. 2050. We scored. So that was great. And did I buy anything else? Yeah, I got something for one of Sheena's little ones. Oh, I think I have something. I don't, I'm sure I got something else. Oh, postman pack book for Jack. Yeah, that was it. Postman pack book for Jack, which I didn't give him yesterday. And something for one of Sheena's, but I'm not going to tell you because it'll go in Sheena's bag because I'm going to see Sheena this weekend. Yay, 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 yay. Sheena is my partner in crime. In the, at the dog shows and she is the person that encouraged me with William and my little heart in the head was like no 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 why didn't you do look at him first he is cute but he has gone now to his mummy and she loves him thank the lord because that's always a concern and now the little girl I have now is now called Gracie and um, her mummy posts pictures of her she looks just like she's meant to be there and I see you spending money on her, mummy. I see you buying her new clothes. <laughs> we love it, don't we? We just love it. She's fitted in so well in uh, that auntie's uh, nursery. That auntie, though, had all babies, and now she's got a bigger one. So she's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm pleased. I'm pleased. It's always a good feeling when you know that they're going somewhere nice. Um, yeah, to a nice home. Yeah, of course it is. So, Russ booked me this little log cabin. So, I have no idea where it is. Well, you know, it's up near Sheena. But I've never been there before is what I'm saying to you, what I'm meaning. I've never been there before. It looks really cute. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to stay there from Friday to Tuesday. And see Auntie Sheena. And that is, I, I don't normally go to this doll show. I did, I, I think I went last year. But again, I think it's because, no, I think I saw Sheena last year. This year is because I didn't see Sheena up for the run up to Christmas. I've still got her Christmas presents. She's still got my lot's Christmas presents, you know. Um, she really wasn't feeling Christmas this year anyway. So I wasn't, you know, I didn't push it. And she's feeling really poorly. So, um, but we're both looking forward to Sunday. We're both looking forward to spending time together. And so now I'm trying to decide who to bring with me. And I'm airing on the side of Frankie. Yeah, my biggest, biggest girl. So I might take Frankie with me. And she will fit in the new um, push chair because the new push chair's got that high extendable back. And we'll see how well she would fit in there. That's not 100% at the moment, but that is the first person I thought of. And usually when I first have a feeling, that's the one I tend to go with. So um, Annie has been a lot of times. She's seen Auntie Sheena a lot of times. And I normally take Annie the most, but at the moment, um, Sheena's dog is still a puppy, even though it's really big. It's still like a puppy. <laughs> so it's not a year old yet. So I don't, you know, I can't really take the reborns and um, have them out in Sheena's. Um, or we could take a small one because then I could just have a cuddle and put them in a crown. But I don't want to take a small one. Um, I really do feel like I want to take Frankie. Emma Jane went to Bristol, so she's been. But also, um. Frankie needs a makeover. I've had Frankie over 10 years. 
she needs um, some work doing on her and I've messaged an artist this morning asking if she'd be interested in doing any um, work on her so we'll see what she replies um, she's under no pressure I mean if she says she'd rather not then she'd rather not and I'm happy with that Frankie went to a doll show once because um, I was going on holiday with Sheena after we went to Hunstanton for the week and so I took Frankie and we um, Frankie had her ears pierced at that time so I took a show she's been that was a very you know a very long time ago right at the start but um so we'll see what this reborn artist messages me back later um and then um so if you see us packing so I will do a packing video I did pick up some new things for Frankie actually um I went to Matalan not Mataland Auntie Sarah in Wales Matalan I went to Matalan <laughs> Oh, I always say Matalan, and it's not that. Auntie Sarah from in um, Wales. So, yeah, I say that too. It's Matalan. So, I popped in there on Saturday. Yes, on the way back, we drove past one. And I said, I said, can I go in there? Would you mind? And he was like, no, that's fine. <laughs> You'll see in the video. <laughs> oh, that was fine. Ha, ha, ha. Um, so, we're all right there. We're okay now. Um, and so, I did pick up a few things for Frankie. So, uh, and I filmed while I was in there, and they always have music, so I have to do a voiceover. So people have asked me, can you film what Frankie likes? You always look at baby clothes, but I would like to see some baby clothes. And so, yes, I did look at the jewellery as well, um, the little kids' jewellery, little girls' jewellery, and the, um, and the uh, kids' clothes, not the baby clothes. Step away from the baby clothes, Caroline, for this one video. <laughs> and so I will upload that, but I'll see when I'll upload that because it might coincide with me packing and, um, you know, get Frankie's stuff together. It might be. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you, Sheena. Sheena might not even watch this before I go. She might watch it after. Excuse me. Excuse me for stippling everywhere. Um... So I'm really looking forward to seeing Sheena and spending these few days in this like little cabin. The things you the things you get treated to when your husband buys himself a new bike, motorbike a few weeks before Christmas. Oh bless him. Bless him. Keep the score, keep the score, keep the score. No, we don't I don't keep the score because I am so fortunate I have you know, reborns, and uh, I'm very, very fortunate. Old lady. Yeah, so, um, so am I picking up a baby? Am I going to be in search of one? Somebody's put in the comments. Oh, let's have a look. Somebody put in one of the comments. Oh, I wonder if you're getting a three to six month old boy then, Caroline, seeing as you have all of that vintage clothing that I uploaded in the last video. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. I don't always remember. And, um, and, uh, no, maybe. <laughs> Honestly, the reason I got that clothing was because it was six pounds for all those items. Six pounds, that's so cheap. I have just paid this morning four pounds for a 1970s dress, it will go with my Syndico Traveller because it's in um, yellows, oranges, and browns. So I had to get that because it go with the Syndico. <laughs> and those are my favourite colours um, for that era, 1970s, I guess, because I grew up then. And that was all what was around me. And it's familiar, isn't it? My favourite colour is actually the purples, you know, the range of purples and lilacs you get. That is my favourite colour. Even though I don't wear it, I do like those that colour. That was nice. Molly's been very quiet up there drinking her baby Cino. Mm. That was nice with frothy milk. Yum, 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 yum. 
So um, I want to do that. Yeah, I want to see what you think of that. We also will be doing a giveaway this week as well. I do have a little romper that I bought, um, a little baby grow, I mean. And I always, I believe I always do a giveaway at the doll shows, don't I? Likely. Hmm. Anyway, watch this space for that. Um, so the only other planned video so far this week is the pram, the, my, my new pushchair, which I will do um, probably this afternoon with James because I know I, I wanted to put him in the sleep sack. I've got my eye candy like pod, sleep pod, that I'm going to put in there. And I just think that that would, we'll see, we'll see what we think. But I'm going to do that. Um appointments and that tomorrow shopping tomorrow i'm making bread this week i'm making sourdough loaves this week um got to fill the freezer before i go away for grumpy i'm only going to be away a few days but you know <laughs> definitely the way to grumpy's heart is through his stomach that is so true with grumpy anyhow let me know in the comments what you think about this, what your opinions of this is, whether you've scored anything great in a charity shop recently. I mean, this was amazing. £2.50. Amazing. Um, and anything else you want to share with anybody, you know, chat it up in the comments. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Me and my boy will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Have a good week. And I will add on at the end here some photos from our weekend. Yes, in case you're interested. Bye, everyone. See you soon.